in a move to reach out to the main opposition for the passage of key legislation in parliament prime minister narendra modi held a meeting with congress president sonia gandhi and former prime minister dr manmohan singh at his residence in new delhi and discussed the issues related to important bills including gst the two congress leaders raised their party's position on three issues of gst bill on which they have objection the government also put its view forward on these points Prime Minister Narendra Modi ruled out any review of the constitution winding up a two-day discussion on commitment to India's constitution as the part of the 125th birth anniversary celebrations of Dr B R Ambedkar in Lok Sabha Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that no one can think of review of constitution Prime Minister also stressed the need for working more through consensus than majority and minority in a democracy emphasizing on the need to familiarize people with the importance of constitution the prime minister said that constitution symbolizes dignity for all citizens and unity as a nation he said that constitution has the power to bind and promote entire diversity that india represents the lok sabha on friday adopted a resolution affirming commitment to the principles and ideals of the constitution and resolve to uphold and maintain its sanctity and supremacy the resolution was adopted at the end of the two day special sitting of the house on commitment to india's constitution ahead of the paris climate change talks beginning on monday union minister piyush goel on friday said that the government is planning a 1 billion dollar private equity fund for renewable energy sector interacting with netizens through talkathon power minister piyush goel said that 77 crore bulbs and all street lights in 5000 towns will be replaced by 2018 india is going to the upcoming crucial paris summit on climate change with a progressive and proactive stance participating in talkathon environment minister prakash javadekar said that india hopes that there will be an equitable agreement on providing technological support to the developing nations at affordable cost by 2040 india is set to contribute more than any country to the rise in global energy demand for this india needs more than 9 lakh crore rupees in energy investment per year at the release of india energy outlook 2015 in new delhi petroleum minister dharmendra pradhan said that government is committed to cut down country's import dependence for domestic energy needs by 10% in next 6 to 7 years concerns over slowing global demand and declining exports finance minister arun jaitley on friday underlined the need for creating an ecosystem to boost shipments to markets overseas speaking at the closing ceremony of the 35th india international trade fair in new delhi he asked exporters to produce quality products at competitive prices to meet the challenge of slowing demand in international markets The health ministry has decided to impart training in organ and tissue transplantation at all government hospitals. Speaking at the launch of the National Organ and Tissue Transplantation Registry at the 6th Indian Organ Donation Day in New Delhi, Union Health Minister J.P. Nadda said that there was a huge gap between demand and supply of organs. The special task force of Uttar Pradesh police has arrested an ISI agent, Mohammad Ijaz alias Mohammad Kalam from Meerut cantonment area Ijaz is a native of Islamabad in Pakistan the Pakistani agent was nabbed when he was trying to deliver some important defense documents near Meerut cantonment railway station at around 2:30 pm on Friday India on Friday successfully test fired indigenously built a short range nuclear capable Agni 1 missile from a test range of Odisha coast You the trial is part of a training exercise by Strategic Force Command of Indian Army. The missile is capable of hitting a target at a distance of 700 kilometers. Leaders from the 53 Commonwealth countries, including India, are meeting in Malta for the Big Chogam Summit. The summit a meet is to explore concerted global efforts to deal with terrorism and tackle climate change. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj is representing India at the summit. In Nigeria at least 21 people were killed and several others have been injured in a suicide bomb blast on a Shia Muslim procession 
in Kano. The bomber ran into crowd and detonated his device before he could be spotted. The attack happened shortly after a man was arrested in possession of a bomb. In United States, a man involved in an exchange of fire with police from inside a family planning center in Colorado Springs is in custody. Colorado mayor said that the situation at the clinic has been resolved. At least 11 people, five of them police officers, were wounded in the shooting. India clinched the Nagpur test by 124 runs to win the historic series against South Africa with fourth and final test to be played in Delhi. Of spinner R. Ashwin, who led from the front, bagged Man of the Match award.